Hey everyone, my name is Janelle and I'm a self-taught freelance makeup artist from Dallas. I've been doing makeup for the past seven years and it's one of my biggest passions in life. I'll be creating makeup looks on here as often as I can as well as on my own channel. Here are just a few examples of my work throughout the years. I hope you all enjoy! Today I'll be showing you how to create a silicone tongue. This can be used as a prop or to create a fake wound. It is quite the time consuming process but so much fun. First, I sculpted the tongue using Chavant clay. I kneaded the clay in my hands and formed it into the shape I wanted. I aimed for realism with the shape of it and added a slight indent in the middle using sculpting tools. For the bumpy texture of taste buds, I covered the tongue with a piece of plastic wrap and hit it repeatedly with a dish scrub brush until it had a realistic texture. I did this for a while until I was happy with the result. Next, I sculpted veins on the bottom of the tongue. I tried to make it all look as anatomically correct as possible. It was a little bit of a rough sculpt on the bottom of the tongue, but I wasn't too worried about it because you're mainly seeing the top of the tongue and the sides of it. After sculpting, I began the process of molding and casting. To make the mold, I first pinned the clay tongue to a sheet of vinyl and hot glued it down to stabilize it and to have it stay in place throughout the molding phase. I took a paper cup that I had removed the bottom out of and hot glued it around the clay tongue. Next, I melted down some Vaseline in the microwave and painted a thin layer of it all over the clay tongue with a paintbrush. This makes it easier to remove from the mold. I didn't use a mold release spray because the fake tongue was going to be in my mouth later on and mold release spray is extremely toxic. Next, I mixed up some plaster and water and poured it inside the cup. The ratio of water to plaster was a little off, but 
it all worked out in the end. Once the plaster mold had fully cured, I painted a thin layer of Vaseline on the inside. I made the tongue out of Platzel Gel 00 silicone. I measured equal parts of silicone, part A and B, in separate cups. Next, I added silicone pigments to part A. I mixed in beige, red, the tiniest bit of blue, and a pinch of pink flocking powder to try and achieve a realistic color. I added more of the various colors and experimented with the mixture until I got it where I wanted it. I then poured part A into part B and stirred thoroughly. I poured the silicone into the mold from up high, creating a small stream of it. This method prevents it from having too many bubbles form inside the mold. Once 30 minutes had passed and the silicone was cured, I powdered the tongue so it wouldn't be as sticky. I continued powdering along the edges and all over the tongue as I removed it from the mold. I removed any excess silicone off of the tongue once it was out of the mold. I then began my painting process. Using my Skin Illustrator alcohol activated paints, I wanted to add a more lifelike quality to the tongue. I was aiming for realism and painted it with various shades of red. Remember, the more alcohol you add, the more transparent the colors will be. The less alcohol you add, the colors will be more opaque. I continued layering up the paint and breaking it up to create a more realistic effect. For the lingual veins, I decided to mix up more silicone and add blue, yellow, and white pigment to it. 
I experimented with and adjusted the color until it was the shade I wanted. Using a sculpting tool, I carefully applied it to the bottom of the tongue. Once the silicone had cured, I powdered it yet again so it wouldn't be as sticky. I wasn't quite pleased with my paint job on the tongue and felt it needed something more, so I mixed up more silicone. This time I added red and brown pigment to create a blood tone, and I gently patted it all over the top and sides of the tongue. I used the popsicle stick to apply a little at a time as well. After the silicone had cured, I went back in again with my skin illustrator paints and added a little here and a little there until I got the paint job exactly where I wanted it. To lock the paint job in place and create a glossiness to the tongue, I mixed up equal parts of Platsil Silla Glass and painted this all over the tongue. This crystal clear silicone is often used to create fake glass, but it worked perfectly for a clear gloss coating. I then let it fully cure. Here's the final result of my fake silicone tongue. You can stop here or add blood as you wish. I, of course, I had to add blood, so my project would be incomplete without it. You can now use your silicone tongue as a creepy prop or make a gory wound like I did here. I took medical scissors and punctured two holes in the tongue to create lacerations. I painted the lacerations and all along the scissors in various shades of red and added fake blood. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel as well as my channel, Janelle Jack's Art, for more content. Feel free to follow me on social media and share this with your friends as well. Catch you on the next one. Bye!